Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Arts. This is Freedom the Parrot. Okay, watch. Okay, so Freedom... Wait, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to... <laughs> oh, Freedom, that's the wrong situation. All right, that's, that's okay. Freedom's gonna fly. Oh, there he goes. Good boy, Freedom! Good parrot! He's like, oh my god, I've been cooped up in this cage all day. Okay, so... Hey, baby bird. Hey, Freedom. Say, I'm on the play stand. Thank God. Who's excited? Okay, so, all right, guys, Freedom's been getting a lot of use of the play stand lately. Now, I will tell you something. Last week, I had the play stand too close to the bookcase, okay? And see this bear right here? I got that from Hobby Lobby. Look, Freedom, were you looking at the bear last week? You were, weren't you? Watch this. Did you look at the bear last week? Is that what you were doing? So... I told you guys I had to watch him all the time. So what you want to do in order to have your bird be successful, okay, since I know that, one, he was trying to touch this bear, okay, and it doesn't matter the value of your items. It, it, it comes down to you don't want to encourage your parrot um, to chew anything except parrot toys. You don't want him touching the furniture you don't want him biting people. That's obvious, right, Freedom? Uh, but, but you'd be surprised. I mean, you guys can laugh, but some parrot owners, they, they think it's funny or entertaining, but it, it's not. There, there's nothing worse than if you passed away, um, who would be able to take care of your parrot? If word around the neighborhood was, oh, that, that parrot's mean, or he bites, or that type of thing. So when I say get your bird to be successful, um... It means, hey, friend, give him every opportunity to play with the correct toys. Now, look right here. He's got, see, these are wood. Um, and some birds just won't touch. Some pieces of wood are too thick. Now, he will, he will chew on these, and I'll tell you his favorite. Look at this. These are very, very lightweight. See, there's two pieces here. He loves them. I got them from Petco the other day. Hey, friend. In fact, I even... I even put um, some in his his little travel cage that he was in just now because, remember, we were having work done. So, anyway, yeah, so um, Freedom the other day, you know, I had him too close here to the TV. Sometimes we'll watch a nature show, not very often. He was trying to touch a tiger. So, I got to see white tigers down in Bush Gardens. I still have their videos coming out. Anything I filmed on the cell phone, I kick those videos out really fast. But the digital camera, hey, Freedom, we have 8,000 videos still to post. And you have to remember, uh, we can't even monetize until we get to 1,000 subscribers. 30 away. Woo! But, but then I know there's probably some heavy rules. I'm not happy about having ads go across our videos. I guess you just click out of the ad and get it over. Right, Freedom? <laughs> but... We definitely could use the money um, because we've been filming for five years for free. Right, Freedom? Yay. All right, Freedom. And that's not why we film, but like I said, right now I am job hunting, and I've been on Hilton Head 32 years. Hey, Freedom. And I'd love to be working with wildlife full time. I mean, I would work for a zoo tomorrow. Right, Freedom? I'm scared to move to, to Florida because... My God, are they evacuating for a hurricane every third day? <laughs> Freedom's like, that is a very slight exaggeration. But, you know, Freedom and I had to evacuate for Hurricane Dorian. So it's scary enough living on Hilton Head, right? Woo! We sit on pins and needles six months out of the year. All right, guys. But we love, we really do love Hilton Head. And it's so perfect because you can get over to Georgia in a hurry for birding. Um, you can uh, get down to Florida two to three or four hours, you know, wherever you need to be. And just the birding world is so amazing on Hilton Head. So, um, so you guys, fasten your seatbelts because, woo, as soon as we start pumping out more videos, you'll be able to tell. We're still working on um, Jacksonville Zoo, and then I throw in videos of Freedom uh, periodically, like we're doing now. Woo! All right, we're signing off live, and I just want to show you, um, look at this, this fake bird. <laughs> Do you love it? We got this at the litter box. Isn't that so cute? For like 50 cents. And here are some 
Freedom's Hidden Feathers that you're not going to see. Uh, because the ones with the red on it, uh, if you Google Freedom the Parrot uh, taking a bath, you'll be able to see those videos. And right now he's working on the tail feathers. All right, guys, signing off live from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Bye, Freedom. Have a great day.